Right, so this is a trap what I'm going to make. It's pretty similar or a kind of similar thing to what I've been doing recently with the other kind of squirrel traps. And as I've been looking and searching around for like other kind of ones similar, I found this trap on a channel called Larry Roberts. And he kind of showed this and set it off and kind of described it. And he'd been shown it by someone else. So I thought I'd show you how to build it. Kind of like how you would in the woods rather than with stuff at home. Now I've got this one laid flat. You could have it laid like a normal squirrel pole at an angle. Or lay it across this like between two trees or whatever. So the squirrel runs along it. Now he said in his one, which I suppose you could, you could use this, depending on what's in your country, for like pine martins and stuff like that and stokes and weasels if you're allowed to do that. A similar thing, any kind of them type of animals can run across poles and branches and that, but for us it would be more than likely to be squirrels. So what you need to do is you do need, you I don't think you could get away with using paracord because it's got to be, a noose has got to be open on its own. So it's wire, but I thought you might be able to stiffen up some paracord to make it work or maybe something like sinew or something which will still tighten up but will sit out you know got some rigidness to it so you need some sort of wire some paracord another weight or a bit of log underneath for a dead full weight another stick and a couple of other little sticks and that's the couple of other little sticks is a maybe but it depends because what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to put a stick here and a stick here sticking up but what you could do is if the branch you pick that happened to have two branches sticking up keep them on there but this one's clear so I'm going to have to put something into this or even if you had one you could use an awl or a drill or something to drill another hole so that's the first thing I'm going to do and what I've got to do that is this it's a drill bit set in a T handle and if this was a live tree this would probably be ten times easier as well So what I'm going to have to do is stick two pegs in here. Now in Larry's video, what he did, he used nails well that would be a simple thing if you happened to carry nails with you then by all means stick the nails in there ten times easier and quicker but if you happen to be carrying something like this some people carry stuff like this in their kits then just drill two holes that's if you haven't got two suitably placed branches So we got two holes now. Okay. I might just have to split a little bit of wood. I don't know if I've got two twigs with me. I'm just going to split a couple of bits of wood off of this one. Just so I've got two pegs. Now 
Now where you, like I said, where you put the pegs, that kind of depends on how you're going to do this. How you're going to do the trap, what kind of bits you've got, etc. Because you can't really say you put them this far apart because you might need a bigger weight underneath. you just kind of got to judge it. Well, that's what I think, so anyway. I'm just splitting a couple of bits of wood. Obviously, if you add a couple of little twigs, just whack them in there already. I've got a saw you've got to cut these off well I'm going to do it about say an inch but this is another one it's going to be trial and error I reckon This stick has got to lay in here like this. I'm just going to shave this off, make sure there's nothing going to stop this, you know, kind of running through it smoothly. the end I'm just going to cut a bit of a notch just to attach some paracord to so that's going to be like this now when the animal lifts this up this is going to fall away and then down like that Depends what you're using, whether it's brass wire or a ready-made snare or anything like that. I'll show you how the snare's got to go though. I suppose another variant to this, what we're going to do is the snare's going to go round it like this. You could, if you had the time and effort, probably drill another hole and have your snare through the hole but that's quite a lot of effort to do that just got to take this off so I can just get this bit in here just taking the string off the um, snare get that out the loop and put this over and then put that back through again it's going to want to sit something like this see that 
what I'll do when I've set it up I'll bring the I'll bring the camera closer so one of these I want to tie on the end of here slightly tied that in the wrong place. I'll just bring this over here a bit more. You want to make sure this wire's nice and stiff, stiff enough to kind of stay up like this. What we might have to do is add something else to it. Now I should have enough here to attach to that. Yeah, it's enough there to do that. You see that? So this is coming from this log to here to the snare. Now I suppose one way we can get our snare to stay there, I'll show you in a minute. Get your knife, I'm going to do it this side and I'll do it the other side. cut a small notch into the bark and we'll do the same this side as well just a small notch cut in and hopefully that should be enough to hold it Get that a bit deeper. <laughs> Bark on this U is very brittle, so as soon as you put it on there. Kind of just snaps off. This is where you got to have stiff wire on here. Well, that one's on there.
one side's on, so that's working. So reset your trigger to right at the end. And then what you do is you put your bait here. And then when the animal comes along, you should lift this bit up to take the bait. And that's how it works. Might shorten the snare one a bit. You can't see that side, but I've got this notch and I'm putting it through the notch. Not a notch, you know, like a little cut into the wood. Comes in. Put that right at the top there. Comes in. On the other side I've got the snare in one of these notches.